Hello to all. Taking a short walk in the woods today. So, uh, why don't you show off my new clothing item? Have it around my neck. And uh, that's the reason why it is a bit big and bulky. But I'm gonna show the real real uses for it. I've a, I'm a big fan of uh, Morse Kohinski so, and um, we have something he called his uh, survival scarf, multi-purpose scarf. That's a big tube of uh, uh, parachute fabric, silk. And they uh, could use it in many different ways. And uh, I'm gonna show this item. It has uh, similar uses. So stick around. So first off, I have it as a scarf. It's. Uh, held in place with uh, this buckle. It's a, a simple ring buckle. Uh, they've been using it since the Bronze Ages and forward. So just uh, twist it. Twist it to the point where it hits the, uh, the stop. Lift it over, pull it out. I have a video on how I did this kind of buckle, so I'll post it in the description below. Stop that in, put that in my pocket. And so what it is is a alpaca poncho. It's an alpaca poncho from Bolivia. It's made by this company. So if you want to check them out, I'm gonna try and find them on the net and internet and uh, put it below in the description box. So it's quite uh, thin. It's a baby alpaca wood, wood wool, <laughs> baby alpaca wool, and um, one use I found was if you pull it in through the through the opening, you create a hood. And. Uh, then you can bring it around and uh, <laughs> throw it over. You can secure it with the secure it with the buckle as well of the. Uh, Like so. So uh, it has many uses, and uh, I often have uh, an oversized coat. I don't like uh, tight clothes. Uh, one reason is uh, for mobility. Another reason is. Uh, if you know about insulation, it's the air that insulates and not the material. The material just keeps the air still. So uh, if you had a, have a lot of dead air, still standing air inside your, un underneath your clothes, they will provide insulation. And if you have enough 
um, if you have enough uh, air you don't sweat as easy and you uh, keep a more steady temperature what I like about uh, What I like about this poncho is that it's uh, slightly asymmetrical, so it's a bit shorter in front than it is in the back. That helps it uh, helps the helps keep it even, so you don't go, don't get the long poncho in the front and the short in the back. If that makes sense. This is also a reason why I like oversized coats. And put the poncho inside to get another another layer to keep the air still and a bit more loft. So uh, gonna tilt it down. I'm gonna go over a couple of more uh, techniques you can use with a, with a puncher. You can obviously use it as a blanket, and uh, you can uh, wear, wear, wear it as a sash. You can fold it up. I've got it doubled up. Hard to see, but got it doubled up, and as you know, there's a hole. Things are gonna drop out, but I can take my jacket. To simulate stuff to carry. Fold it up into the sash. Give it a couple of twists. Twist it in the alternate directions, so you don't get a so you don't get it to spin around. can simply put it on your back or ball of your back tie it, <coughs> tie it in the front you can use the buckle as well to uh, secure it so now you're free to use your arms and stuff and uh, have great mobility if you uh, going through a brush and stuff, so uh, I like that. And uh, you can also throw it over and uh, secure it with a buckle or a string or something. So, uh, yeah, a couple of more techniques. Are probably lots more to figure out, but uh, that's the stuff I play, played around a bit with. So, I want to give a big thank you to my aunt who bought it for me, and. Uh, Go over and check out her channel. Uh, I'll link it down below in the description. Um, she's a professional singer songwriter, and uh, she's been working in uh, Bolivia for 
was working in Bolivia for many years uh, with non-profits and uh, uh, she was uh, one of a couple of people that uh, uh, built a uh, uh, daycare center and uh, they financed it by making a pig farm as well and it's still going today uh, so it was up in Pampahasi and uh, she got married and got a sh uh, they got a daughter, Tanya. So she has family in Bolivia, so she goes back and visits now and again. And uh, yeah, she, uh, she was in uh, Bolivian, Bolivian TV uh, last time she was visiting. Uh, it was the last of this year, beginning, no, last of... Uh, 2020 uh, and the beginning of 2023 so uh, me and my brother got hold of her and uh, asked if she could sh uh, buy us a couple of ponchos and uh, she did that was uh, we bought uh, three and uh, one made its way up to uh, Värmland to a friend of mine that uh, has ever since I brought my 33 year old Poncho on one of our canoeing trips, he has wanted one, so uh, he got one in the end. <laughs> uh, head over to our channel and, and say hello from me, and I, that will mean a lot to me. So, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.